Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how I made Knuckles the Echidna from a Princess Palace pet. I'm going to use the body of this cat and the head of the dog. I went for all of my Sonic customs to be on two feet and I thought this cat's pose suited Knuckles. The dog's head was really hard to take off because it was really dense. You can heat it up to make it easier to take off. In this video I'm going to be talking about Knuckles the Echidna with my little sibling in between the times that I'm telling you what I'm doing in this video. I'm going to remove the toy's details that I don't need like the cat's tail and the hair accessories. So Knuckles is my favorite Sonic character. When I think about like the best aspects of Knuckles, I think of adventure. I think of specifically adventure because he is so cool! I put the head on the body off camera and can remove the factory paint with 100% acetone. I love Knuckles! I love Knuckles! He's so cool! He's so cool! You, ju you just either get it or you don't. <laughs> Before anything else, I'm going to do the sculpt. I use Paper Clay Delight to smooth over the details that I cut off and put down a base for his quills later. <laughs> I love that he's like stupid, but it's like in the context of the story, it 100% makes sense that he's like stupid. He's lived on an island his whole life and his only interaction has been with either Sonic and Tails or Eggman. It's so funny to me. I like that he's like responsible. He takes responsibility and accountability for his actions. That means a lot to me. You know, he feels like in this game, he like gets sad that he like let this situation get as bad as it did. There's so much about this game and like specifically adventure that like really fleshes out his character and makes him not only like a character that you like, but like a character you can kind of like, oh my gosh, he must feel so bad the entire time. I feel like this is the first one where they actually like get a chance to characterize Knuckles. I'm also going to give some expression to his eyes because they don't look like Knuckles to me. The clay has hard enough to work with the toy so I'm going to add in some more details for his dreadlock quills. I'm putting in thinner quills so that there's some texture on the quills if you look at them from the front. At least that's my excuse for why they're there. I used hot glue as a base for a zigzag tail so I can get the shape right and not squish it. Because you get like a chance to characterize Sonic, at least his, the most fundamental parts of him yeah. in the 2D games. But Knuckles, you see, and he's like kind of not too much there. Like, yeah, he's just he, kind of like... You see him as a rival to Sonic, but like not much else in those games. And then in Adventure, you get a chance to like hear him out, see his story, and like understand him from his own perspective, you know? The quill details will look more like the dog's ears if I carved them in instead. And I like, I mean, I guess from maybe a, a classic person's perspective. I don't know that Adventure and Adventure 2 ruined him, but I feel like, you know, in a hindsight kind of way, they really lead up to him being friends with him henceforth, you know? Yeah. I'll mask off his muzzle and eyes after it's dry because red paint is really weird. Because I feel like Knuckles and Sonic are like, they're besties, you know what I, I mean? Think they're, they're I think they're friends. I think they're very I think Sonic is Knuckles' best friend. And like, I like that. I think they're fun. They're friends, you know, they may butt heads every once in a while, but, but you know, what you, kind of friend doesn't, you know? A real friend will butt heads with you. You gotta butt heads! We are both individuals, man! I wanna hear your individual opinion. His design is like, whatever. I don't- I actually don't really like Knuckles' design that much. Oh yeah? I think it's maybe the Lego shoes. They gotta look stupid. I think there's a lot of stuff with the echidnas that they really wanted to do, but they just never did. I'm gonna paint him completely red, which can take a few coats, but I don't really need to worry about the mask parts being painted. I'm really particular about the hue of red paint that I use, but this one looks basically perfect for Knuckles. I, li I think Knuckles' design is cool. I don't, I don't remember which instruction booklet it described it as his uh, quills as dreadlocks. I think that's cool think to think that they're dreadlocks. I think it's cool to also think that they're dreadlocks. I think the knuckle hands are cool. I think they're actually- The they're boxing cool. gloves. Yeah, the boxing gloves. Do you I think, think they're, they're cool. hands under there or are they just mittens? They tried to like get rid of it. And I can appreciate trying to get rid of it. It didn't work. People like the old design more um, of the middens. But I think it makes more cohesive sense because Tikal has hands. I think he would have hands. I can remove the mask and start painting his muzzle. I made a slightly different color for the beige that I used for Sonic because I didn't want them to be the same. Well, I guess that's arguable with these graphics, but... <laughs> I think he has hands under his boxing gloves. I've drawn him before where he has fingers. Yeah, yeah. 
I think it might have been a shock, you know, with the Sonic Boom design, but everything about him was a shock in the Sonic I Boom did not design. Like, his design for like Boom. it's a fine interpretation of Knuckles I, if I you're going think they for that cartooning. Too far it into when you like watch the cartoon for it, I think they went too far into the Knuckles is stupid, and they really like hung on to that. I have so many thoughts about how people write Knuckles, where it's like they take one aspect from him. They'll see Knuckles and they take one aspect from him. And there's this aspect that Knuckles is stupid. He's not stupid. I mean, he's kind of stupid. I clean him up a little bit and paint in his Slayeress. But he's like reasonably stupid considering what he lives with, you know? Yeah. And then they take that aspect and they make that his entire personality. And it's like, he's not stupid. They masked off his muzzle again to protect it before adding some details like the emblem on his chest. I kept that detail because I kept it on the other two. Yeah, he's not. It, it would be fine if they made him that stupid, like in a cartoon sense and, you know, just what? Whatever. Wait, like, that's not the only thing about him. Like, he's kind of on the stoic side. I can add in his irises now, and I position them to kind of look back at his bestie Sonic if the two toys were put next to each other. This video shows how I do the gradient on the irises that I do in most of my projects. Yeah, he's, like, not funny. Like He I doesn't like... do it intentionally. Yeah, he doesn't intentionally be funny. Um, Sonic does. Yeah, because he's a little jokester. He's a little silly He's a brat. <laughs> he is a brat. But, like, there are other characters, and I'm like, I don't know. And I think he does have a very big personality. Like, before there was Shadow, there was Knuckles. And you gotta respect the Knuckle Man, you know? Like, he's he's cool. Uh, I'll say this about the games. I don't think the treasure hunting games are hard. I don't think they're hard either. I just you get just, frustrated. Yeah, you just have to, like, know how to do it. Sometimes you're like, I think people get frustrated because they don't get the gimmick and they'll be like running around for like 45 minutes doing nothing even well the thing is that you got the treasure hunting levels are easy all you got to do is run around the level really quick and if you don't see the little that's light that's why they run fast any any singular light then like There's go no through point. it a little bit more thoroughly here i'm cleaning up the eyes and adding the pupil so knuckles as a character is one of my favorite characters of all time i think he's even more up there than like Sonic. I think that there's like a lot to Knuckles that is like it's under the surface. Like I like that he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> I kind of like that. I think, I think that's he's kind of charming. Fun. He's charming. Yes. I like that he is very dedicated. Let's go in and paint his shoes. I think yeah. if there's like one word to really describe Knuckles, it's like probably either dedicated or loyal. loyal. I, don't, I I think that that's like really cool that he's like such a cool guy. You know he is always put into like positions and in scenarios that like he doesn't want to be in yeah and i think that's kind of like the fact that he like just kind of deals with it is like pretty cool of him i guess like <laughs> sonic and tails sonic or? and tails and everyone else. and everyone else they keep getting into stupid problems and like he's dragged along at least heroes they really are like no this dude's like kind of cool now he's like he's starting to learn like how to deal with people and then when you see him deal with other characters you're like oh my gosh he's like super cool he's funny i take the mask off his muzzle here before filling in the ring on his chest i really like him in heroes i yeah. think it, like uh... and paint his nose and the pattern on his chest, which is one of my favorite details of his design. I'm outlining his irises and cleaning up the eyes. First view that you get of him, um, where he's like really chill, kind of like goes throughout, like he's got a chill vibe about him, but he uh, is also very determined and like cautious, you know? Yes, I don't like um, some interpretations of him. I should have painted in his necklace earlier so I didn't have to mask so much. Initially it was green like the Master Emerald, but I went over it in gold like the jewelry that the ancient echidnas wear in Adventure. And they just make him stupid, and I don't think Knuckles is stupid per se. He just doesn't know. I painted the Chaos Emerald on his badge blue to have some contrast with the paint job. Like, Knuckles is gullible because, like, he just doesn't know. Yeah, it's through inexperience. And here he is. He's all d My name is Jeff.
It's like, I get it, you know? It's like, yeah, he doesn't know anything. That doesn't make you stupid. I mean, I guess that literally makes you stupid, but... Can you really get angry or call someone stupid just because they don't know what's going on? Yes. 